Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. Those days are over. You don't have to share your body to the night. Roxanne. Welcome to Sozen Gadgets. If you're new here, consider subscribing to learn weekly about great new earbuds, headphones, and gadgets. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new Zen Gadget reviews every week. The Empow MX3. They're a $29 earbud with wireless charging. They got decent battery life. And uniquely for this kind of semi-in-ear stem style earbud, Empow includes some really slender silicone ear tips. I call them skins in the package. And it's these skins or these tips that really make the MX3 a really interesting semi-in-ear style earbud. But let's start with the design. Now they're a really simple, I would say maybe even elegant design because they're so straightforward. They are reminiscent of some really popular, much more expensive earbuds, but you're paying like 29 bucks for these. Like most similarly shaped earbuds, they're really light, they're super comfortable, you get almost no passive noise isolation from these whatsoever, even when you're wearing those skins. And they kind of just rest in your ears more than insert into your ear canals. Whether they would stay secure in your ears during a workout or doing a run or something is gonna depend a lot on the size of your ears and how those silicone skins help you get a better fit. But one thing's for sure, those super slim silicone tips might just transform these earbuds for your ears, especially compared to other earbuds of this shape and style. Now without the tips, they're never gonna block a lot of the surrounding noise, like I said. With these tips, if you get that secure fit, um, you're gonna get a little bit of passive noise isolation. Not a lot, but definitely a more secure fit, and I will talk about the sound quality changes that you'll get later in the video. Now, Empow did a great job on the case for these. Sure, it's plastic, it's 29 bucks. It's small, however, and it's well constructed. The lid stays open, plus the lid is contoured to keep the buds right in place when the lid is closed. It's gonna make sure that they stay on their charging connection points. It's really easy to get the, in, the buds in and out of the case, plus the case charges via USB-C or da -da -da -da, wirelessly for under 29 bucks. That's fantastic. It's got four lights on the case that indicate the charging status. I think it's a really well done case. Now the battery on these lasts a reasonable five hours per charge and 25 hours using that charging case. Plus the buds support a quick charge via the USB-C cable, via the USB-C cable, with 15 minutes giving two hours of playtime. These earbuds have both AAC and SBC support, which means they give you gonna, they're gonna give you great high definition audio and they're gonna be uh, good for watching videos. Now I did find it best to switch them into SBC mode through my Bluetooth connections on my phone for watching videos to get the least amount of audio lag. But check out my latency tests on the MX3s and this will also give you a really good idea of what they'd be like for gaming. AAC off. Now, as with most earbuds without a dedicated low latency or gaming mode, I'm just not gonna recommend the MX3 for a gaming experience. It's really not what they're intended for, right? Now, the MX3's Bluetooth connectivity and range, is it's okay. They connect when you open the case, which I think people really like because by the time you get them to your ears, they're connected. That's pretty cool, right? There's almost no delay in switching from mono mode to stereo mode. You don't hear any beeps, pops, nothing. It just does it, which is also a great feature. But the range on these is just mediocre, I would say. It's about 20 feet, which is lower than almost all the other earbuds I've tested, but serviceable. Now the mono mode on these is a true mono mode, meaning you can hear both left and right audio tracks from either earbud when you're wearing them independently. So that's kudos to Empow on this inexpensive an earbud. Their IPX rating is seven, which is fantastic for earbuds. It means you're gonna have no problem with standing rain, sweat. You can even submerse them in 
a little bit of water. Now the touch controls do control everything volume and I'm going to tell you that the volume <laughs> the changing of the volume is very fast press and hold either button and that volume goes up goes down check out the video they control play pause previous and next track and they have a very unique touch sequence for calling up your voice assistant and that is that sequence is single tap plus tap again and hold and you can see the sequence here in my video but I will tell you that I had to practice this motion for a bit to get it to work right. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that most people, if you're really big into calling up the voice assistant, you'll also have to take a few minutes to get up on the learning curve for using that touch sequence. But it does work, and the rest of the controls are rock solid. Now you won't hear me say this very often about this style of earbuds because it's very hard for me to measure their volume without a silicone tip that I can put up against the microphone on my sound meter. But these are loud. You put those silicone tips on again, and again, assuming that you get a seal in your ears, their max volume is really high. And I had a really hard time measuring it because they don't have those normal tips in my equipment, blah, blah, blah. I know you don't really care. Anyway, I was able to measure these at about 100 decibels. But I am telling you, these are significantly loud earbuds when I put them in with those silicone tips, just the way that they seal. I am literally listening to these at like 25, 30, 35% volume max, and they are seriously, seriously loud. Your match may vary, but for me, these are an incredibly loud earbud. Now, let's discuss a little bit more about their sound quality. So the MX3s, in my opinion, are gonna have two extremely different and distinct sound quality experiences, sound signatures, depending on how you're gonna wear them. Now, if you wear those silicone tips, you're gonna get one thing. If you don't wear them, you're gonna get a different experience. So without the ear tips, they don't have a lot of bass. They got decent mids and highs, but it's nothing spectacular. In this mode, without the silicone tips, they're gonna be good for, let's say, listening to podcasts, or maybe audiobooks, but I don't think you're gonna wanna, you know, put on you know any EDM and try to jam out with them. But put on those silicone tips, and assuming you get that good seal in your ears, trust me on this, if you get the good seal in your ears, and it's not a big difference, but boom, these things are crazy. You're gonna get that MPOW signature, that super U-shape with the big powerful bass. I mean it, it's kind of crazy to think how much bass these are pumping out with those silicone tips. And I don't know how they even manage to seal in my ears so much. It doesn't even feel like they're really searing, sealing. They're so sheer a tip, but the bass is just, it's just crazy. It's staggering. It's can, I mean, the bass can even overshadow the mids on these buds with those tips. I literally am trying to reposition them to lessen the bass effect on most songs just to get a little bit more balance out of the song with those tips on. Or what's a lot simpler is I just fire up my favorite EQ app and I lower the bass and then I have these buds under control. Now on songs that actually call for a lot of heavy bass and sub bass, weirdly, oddly, I don't know why, but the MX3s, they aren't really overpoweringly uh, bass heavy on those songs, it actually sounds pretty good. Now getting beyond the bass, the mids and the vocals are clear, but I do wish for them to just be a little bit more forward in my opinion than what I'm hearing with these buds and that just rings true for however I'm wearing them. The high frequencies on these are decent. They're never too bright, they're never sibilant, and I would say that the sound stage is pretty darn good overall. I think most people are gonna enjoy these earbuds, especially if we consider whether or not they have good mics. So let's check out those mics and see how they work out on the MPOW MX3s. All right, this is a phone call with the MPOW MX3. I got a picture of the U.S. flag in the background just to show you how windy it is out. I am facing the wind at this moment. I've already done a couple of preliminary mic tests, and I thought that they sounded okay. They sounded really good as there were cell cars going by. This is an incredibly hard test because the wind is blowing extremely hard, and the cars are going by at the same time. It's rush hour here. It's Friday morning. And that'll about do it for this wrap-up, this uh, test of the microphones on the Empire MX-3. Hope these work out so that this can be a nice, inexpensive earbud for you all to try out uh, on your own. That will be a very rare 18 wheeler going by in the background. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you think the MX-3s belong in my 
top 25 series playlist or not. The MX3s, again, they're about $26 on Amazon right now. I'll leave a link in the video description. I mean, 26 bucks is pretty much entry level into true wireless earbuds. I just don't think you can buy too much for less than that unless it's on super sale. And yet, these still have some pretty decent features, right? They're very comfortable. They're an occlusion-free experience that would be easy to use for phone calls. They have potentially pretty huge bass if the tips work out for your ears. And they're good for watching movies, especially if you know how to put them into SBC mode. And I thought that the mics were actually surprisingly good, especially at this price point. And that major background noise at the end of my mic series test was just pretty impressive, really. Now on the con side, the Bluetooth range is pretty weak. And I do think that the touch control for calling up voice assistant will take some getting used to. Thanks for watching. See you next time.